Yo, what's going on guys? You're watching PSD to WordPress Lesson 8 and in this video we're going to install a server, PHP and MySQL on our computer. Okay then gang, so WordPress is written in PHP and it also uses a database management system called MySQL. Now, by default, most home computers don't come installed with these, so we're going to have to install them ourselves for WordPress to run locally on them. So we're going to do that and we're going to also have to install a server on our computer as well because PHP is a server-side language which means it needs a server to run on. So we'll install PHP, MySQL and a server on our computer using a stack called WAMP and WAMP just stands for Windows, Apache, MySQL and PHP. So we're going to do that right now. Okay then guys, so what you want to do is head over to WAMPserver.com I'll leave the link in the description down below and then just click start using WAMP server. Now you can download one of two versions, the 32-bit version or the 64-bit version and that depends on what bit your computer is. If you don't know, all you have to do is search for my computer, right click it and go to properties. It's going to tell you under system type, mine's a 64-bit one, so I went ahead and downloaded the 64-bit one. So download whichever one you need and then what you want to do is just double click the installer. Go along with all the installation instructions, just keep everything default and then at the end of it what you want to do is come down to your system tray and you should see this little green icon uh, which when you hover over it says WAMP server. Now it should be green which means it's online and if yours is red it means it's offline. If it's red what I would suggest first is just going to start all services or restart all services to see if it goes green. If it doesn't, then most likely another program on your computer is using the port that WAMP server needs, right? And that's port 80. Now to test that, what you want to do is go up to Apache, which is the server, go to service and then test port 80. Now mine says here that port 80 is actually used by server Apache, which is fine. So WAMP is using port 80. If another program is using port 80 on your computer, it's going to tell you which program that is here. So you'll have to go into that program, uh, mess around with the settings so that it listens to a different port so you can use WAMP server. All right. So once you've done that, head over to this again, click it and go to restart all services. And hopefully, guys, it's going to turn green. So there's another couple of things I want to show you. The first thing is this www directory. And this is going to be the root directory of our server, right? And this index.php file is going to be the file that's thrown up when we go to our local host in our browser, right? Now, what I'll do, and by the way, you might have different files here. Uh, it should be three files by default. It doesn't really matter because we're going to overwrite them later when we install WordPress. Uh, but yeah. These are the files that are going to get thrown up when we go to the server address. And to do that, what we need to do is go to localhost. So this is going to the root of our directory and it's getting that index.php file and it's throwing up this default PHP file that comes with WAMP. Now, yours might look a little bit different if you've got a different version installed. Don't worry about that whatsoever because like I said, we're going to override this later on. Okay, so that's the localhost. Um, which is going to serve up our files. I've shown you the directory where we're going to store our files. I just want to show you one more thing, which is the PHP MyAdmin. Now, this is just a graphical interface for MySQL. Okay, so it's a lot easier to manage databases um, if you're not familiar with uh, SQL commands or anything like that. Just log in. You don't need to put a password. Just click Go. And then this is the interface for MySQL. So we're going to be using this a little bit later on when we set up a database for our WordPress site. But for now, if you have any questions whatsoever, guys, feel free to comment down below. And remember, you can catch all the updates to this course by subscribing. So hit that down below as well. And don't forget to like and share also. I'll see you guys anyway in the very next video.